Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and uh, well, I'm currently doing this uh, late at night on uh, Memorial Day because I took it, I took yesterday off because it's Memorial Day here in the United States. I think I'm doing like uh, this whole uh, holiday thing where I just take the holiday off and just like you know, what, fuck it, no, no, no video. So anyway, um, for those of you who are, are also Hongai captains, I've got a couple announcements. And those are regarding ranking ups of two of my Valkyries. First one I ranked up was, uh, <clears throat> was I made my uh, Vermilion Eye Eclipse Hemical. Still hurts, it still hurts. That still hurts, that battle suit. It's now double S. Um, uh, and also, also earlier today, I ranked up my, um, my Elysia to triple S. So, yeah, both are pretty good. Um, I also did, uh, the, um, Elysian Realm, um, <clears throat> the, uh, Elysian Realm Deep Sequence Shroud Difficulty, just a test. Just a tester out, and uh, she actually does pretty good. So I might try the hardest difficulty, just just for the hell of it. Um, but uh, continue on. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this video for Tuesday, the thirty first, <coughs> and. Uh, Sometime later on in the week, I'll do uh, one for uh, uh, Thursday the second. I'm also planning on doing a uh, summoning session for NP2 Zerker Musashi, and maybe if I have enough quartz left, or maybe NP2 Bunitoria, and ho and hopefully, hopefully, NP5 Summer Melt. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, so, uh, accept the daily stuff here. Uh, Friend points and fever ticket, and the uh, the last Aurora steal for the for this month, followed by uh, collecting the this this uh, Saint Court fragment. I need some more. So anyway, um, let's get right back into Atlantis. When last we left off, uh, we talked, uh, Bartholomew Robert talked to us, as well as we found out that Orion is kind of, kind of avoiding, um, Artemis. Excuse that right there, because I'm just, I decided to get myself some drink. Anyway, let's get right back into it. Do the last, uh, Okay, Bard Power begins. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. Doesn't like Captain Neo when he wakes up on his own on his own anytime soon. He is still comatose, or at least close equivalent for a servant. Unless we do something, unless we do something, he will most likely continue to wither away until he ultimately perishes. We've got to find a way to help him. Right. Unfortunately, getting to the temple would be a bit dangerous. You see, the demonic beast seemed to have picked up on the scent of battle and started to roam the area. In that case, we can't have Slara to carry him, since she needs both hands free for her master duties. Indeed, it'll be quite difficult, if not impossible, for you to carry him either, thanks to your small stature. So, who would be the best choice? Knowing glance. <laughs> of course, Gordolf. Uh, er. Why would you look like that? Why would you look at that? Why would you look at that? It seems we have a strapping young man with girth to spare right there, right here. You're not talking about me, are you? 
Don't worry, you'll be fine. Someone as light as Nemo shouldn't be any trouble for you at all, right? Well, no, of course not. Not to mention that physical enhancement is the most rudimentary of all spells. But a distinguished commander like myself, giving a child a piggyback ride, just seems to be more than a tad, well, improper. <laughs> You're still worried about appearances at this point. Oh, no, no, I should have... Let me rephrase that. <laughs> You're still worried about appearances at this point. Again. <laughs> You're still worried about appearances at this point? Should you be more concerned with improving your odds of survival, Commander? Even if it's just by 1%. Exactly. Besides, I bet you'll cut a, cut a real dashing figure carrying Nemo on your, back, on your back, Gordy. Spare me the hollow praise. Something about it just rubs me the wrong way. Um, that actually reminds me of something I've been wondering about for a while now. Did the, hom did the homunculi you grew up around at never praise you for anything, Director? Great question, Mosh. Hmm. Homunculi are already full, fully grown from the moment they're born, which means they have absolutely nothing in the way of genuine life experience. I don't need any praise for the likes of them. <coughs> not, that they ever, not, that ever, not that they ever bothered, anyway. Um, Gordolf? You're talking to a homunculi right there. I don't know whose idea it was. They said it was policy to never offer praise for any of them. As felt this, that was, they felt was the sort of thing anyone should be able to do. I especially remember how Tool would always be like. I'm very sorry, young master, but I'll never praise you regardless of what you, you may accomplish. I swear, what was her problem anyway? I see. Fascinating. She sounds like someone I would very much like to meet. Don't be ridiculous. She's, rough. She's just another homunculus. I highly doubt she has anything to offer you. Besides, she's long since gone from this world, so you'll never get to meet her regardless. Oh, why am I even talking about this? Alright, fine. I see how it is. Wait right here while I go and fetch Nemo. There. Happy now? Now that's a father figure I've ever seen one. He does look like Nemo's father now. You totally look a you totally look like a doting father. Don't be our don't be daft. <sighs> now look at what you did. I shall man kick me in the stomach. Ha <laughs> ha I see. This is what you call the folk you like. When you lack in rules, you make up for it you make up for it with discipline. That suits me just fine. In fact, I think it's ideal. Alright then. Let's make our way to the temple. I'll go with you. Something tells me that Bart's gonna gonna betray him. That's why I use a, vi a voice I would use if I was to ever, if if I was to ever picture or hear someone using a using a vo like a sly kind of voice, like uh, again Honkai Honkai wor Honkai wording here. If I was to hear anyone use a voice for auto, that would be kind of like it, right there. I guess I'm just really an ordinary guy. That's why I'm here now. That's why I got left behind. Right now, I'm just a guy who looks like the, who looks apart, left holding down the fort. Every day it feels like it lasts. Here. Seriously, why do people make their make their fucking vehicle sound like that? Every second feels like a drag for an hour. Don't get me wrong, logically it makes sense. Really, when you get right down to it, servants like us are supposed to fight alongside a master. It's just reckless to go off somewhere and you know you're likely to die without one. <clears throat> I know about that servant. Can't remember their face. Ask me. Stay here and wait for them. And I know I said I would. Part because it really didn't feel like the same kind of situation where no was an option. But I'm supposed to be one of the greatest sabers ever. If I do, just use a use a club. Right now, I'm a writer. 
but I can't keep my horse around all the time. A rider uses a club. Huh. Oh crap, I'm getting all choked up. I have no weapon and no vehicle. The only gear I've got to my name is a, name is a few tales of adventure and daring do. And that's nothing compared to the real first-rate heroes. Can't, I can't stand back if my Achilles tendon is severed or, or if I'm stabbed in the heart. I can't keep protecting the entire city as its political leader. General, Stratus, and Warrior all rolled into one. I can never complete all the twelve labors on my own. I can't even gather a bunch of other heroes into a single ship for an epic journey. Oh my god, I think I know who this is. <clears throat> so many things, I, and I can't do a, one of them. The best I can manage is to hunt demonic beasts and donate them to the villagers. Just like I've been doing every day. They say there have been a whole mo lot more demonic beasts running around lately. That probably means they're either here, or they will be soon. I wonder what they'll think of me when they show up. A useless good for nothing C rank servant? I just hope they, they're at least a little happy to meet me. Nah, what am I saying? I gotta stop thinking positive. They're just gonna look down their nose at me and re relegate me to backup. That's all I deserve anyway. Alright, now that I'm feeling more myself, I'm just gonna keep looking on the dark side of life. After all, that's what I swore I was gonna do. I think I know who that is. Okay then, let's get going. Man, when we first set out this lost bell, I never thought I'd be and I'm waking walking uh, walking with my own two feet. You're really enjoying yourself, aren't you, Da Vinci? Well sure. I've always wanted to get a chance to explore some new uncharted land like this. Well I understand how you feel, Da Vinci. And I'm well aware that you can handle yourself in a fight. I feel I must remind you that you are truly essential to the shadow border operation. So I would advise you to stay as close to Miss Caroline as possible. Yeah, yeah, I know. Speaking of which, where is the Shadow Board right now? Ah, uh, yes, we used a barely function. We used this barely function cloaking feature to hide it once we reach shore. While I prefer to return as return to it as soon as possible, doing so with, while its comms are unusable would, of course, render us unable to lend our aid. Lend you our aid. So in the meantime, I've entrusted Mr. Munier with his safety. On a different subject, what exactly does this does going to this temple draw entail? That's a fair question. By all accounts, sounds like the twelve Olympians are our primary enemies here. So why in the world are we run in the risk of going somewhere devoted to worshiping them? Worry not, my poorly compadre. There are no gods here now. There are now. It's a temple of in name only these days. <clears throat> However, it still is one of the gods' relics there. It still is one of the gods' relics there. A relic I thought we might be able to use to restore Captain Nemo to good health. What kind of relic? Hmm, in proper human history, you'd probably refer to them as... Nanomachines. Wait, nanomachines? Really? Those are tiny robots about the size of, vir of a virus, no? Even a modern society, they're mostly theoretical. There hasn't been much progress in actually creating functional nanomachines. <clears throat> so then, this is Olympian technology? Are you sure it's safe for us to use? Speaking my capacity as a technologizer, I'm not sure I can endorse this. You have every right to be suspicious, girl. A girl who I very much wish would let her bangs down. Oh, that, oh, that look from Da Vinci! However, this now machine technology has apparently been a part of this land for over 10,000 years. So I'm afraid I'll have to defer to both your expertise to determine whether or not it's safe. What about you, Ms. Corday? Do you know anything about the nanomachines? Not a thing. But I get the feeling I'd be strong. I'd be stronger if I did. I see. Very well, then. Miss Laurie, would you be so kind as to give us a proper send-off? Hold on just a moment. This is all we accompany you personally for this expedition. What I'll, why don't you let me handle this? Take it away, Director. Right, then. <clears throat> all humans! <laughs> no, all hands! Move out! 
man. He flubbed it. All hands, move out! Well, what are y'all waiting for? Come on, before I leave you behind. Senpai. Well, let's catch up with him. Indeed, I must say, he's a much faster walker than I expected. Good grief. Okay, Da Vinci, enough quoting Charlie Brown. You'd think they'd take this a little more seriously, considering we're the fifth and biggest lost belt now. Oh, I think they're they're taking it just serious enough. If this is how you all can operate, I can see how you manage to take down four of the lost belts. Right? Alright, we better go after them. By the way, would you mind hiding your eyes and your bangs? Okay, that is more than enough of you pushing your creepy specific fetish on literal, literally everyone around you. Seek help. <laughs> good work. Good one, Da Vinci. Whoops, now I've gone run off too far ahead. That won't do it all. This may be embarrassing, but I'll take shame over death any day of the week. I expect the gentlemanly thing to do here is to simply turn around and go back to rejoin them without saying a word. All that aside, I still can't believe I've loved such a simple yet critical line. Doesn't mean I'm just not cut out to be one of the one giving orders. No, no, that can't be right. No doubt I'm just feeling a little less art articulate than usual after all this fighting. Yes, that sounds all right. I'll just go ahead and leave it at that. <coughs> Director! Hmm? Oh, that was a Missalarian on there, and the demi servant. All right, Gordolf, keep it together. Good mage never lose their cool, no matter no matter the circumstance. So I can't use my hands right now. I'll just give them a con congenial smile and behind you. <laughs> What's this now? Some car sketchy, some more sketchy comedy routine. And so I like certainly hope you could come up with something better than the old "Oops, there's a monster behind you" gag. That sort of tired cliche may suffice in your circles. But it'll take far more sophisticated humor than that to get a chuckle out of old Gordolf music. Huh? You mean we're just trying to get me to turn around as a joke? I'll be right there, Director. Please, run for it. Yee! Is it just me or have I spent far too much of this year literally running around? I don't think we're going to make it. There's, some, there's no way it's, I'm going out as some sort of bad punchline. Charge! Damn it, and I have enough charge left. Plop. I guess I'll just use a command spell. I guess I'll just use a command spell. Right, where do you are, Master? Even so I don't know if it's going to be enough. Huh? Th what just happened? Please let me this let tell me these blade chunks that look disturbing like crushed tomatoes aren't mine. Don't worry, I got the beast. Oh good. Th thank you. Thank you? You're the kid that would have ended up monster child if I had been here. I'm glad that didn't happen. Er, yes, and I'm quite grateful for that. Believe me, but um I still don't know who you are. Oh, it's Mondricardo! Okay, I seriously thought that it was Jason. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. But before I tell you that, I'm going to ask you something. What? What is it? And did you really have to point that surprisingly sharp looking stick at me first? I ask, are you my master? Uh, No. Gotcha. Oh, okay then. I'll just be on my way. Sorry to bother you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait up. No, I'm out of here. I messed up the one line that no servant should ever, ever mess up. There's nothing left for me to live for. Me. I'm a master. It's me. Huh? You're the master? 
Yes, that's right. Now, could you please tell us who you are? Y yeah, okay. Um, well... Uh, now there's something behind you. Call yourself. Shut up, you dumb things. Did, did he just take the monster out with a wooden sword? Hmm, I guess it's just a club. Then again, the only famous club leaders I know of are Miyamoto Musashi and Heracles. Wait a sec. Are you Heracles, Lily? That has to be one of the last things I ever thought I'd hear a master say. And no, and no, I'm nowhere near as big a deal as that. My name is Ma Mondricardo. I'm a plain old run the mill servant who's best known for, uh, finding the 12 pound in the shower, Charlemagne. Oh, I know who you are. Wait, really? Even though I'm just a supporting character in The Legend of Roland. Wow, so you know who I am. That's great. Oh, yes, I know who you are, too. You're the king of the Tartar Tartars who stole a sacred sword. Durandal? La single, it's spelled wrong. And still end up losing a duel to Ruggiero. Ouch, you make a habit of going around and reopening old wounds there, Tubby. Plus, that doesn't really look like doo doo. Huh. Guess the send of blood must have lured them out here. Alright, prospective master. I'm counting you to call the shots. You got it. <coughs> you, know, you know, I've got to admit, that, that lie wasn't too bad. It had a nice, easygoing feeling every. Uh, um, Mon Ricardo? Aren't you going to fight? Oh, right, of course. Okay, let's do this thing. Eh, just for the hell of it, let's... Let's go ahead. Yeah, this is the team I've been using lately. And you know what? It makes perfect sense. Let's just go ahead and use this team for the hell of it. Just for the lulls. That way I don't have to switch back when I play. When I go back to farming the event. <clears throat> oh, man. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and act. Well, let's act. Oh, ah, dang it. Wrong one. Ah, uh, God. How many turns does that last, anyway? <sighs> Damn it. Uh, ew. Not good, not good. Okay, yeah. Let's just go ahead and <coughs> finish them off with uh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see crystal drop rate, guts, and, and B, and That thing, that, that, that. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it's been kind of been a while since I've used um, it's 
kind of been a while since I've used uh, um, um, Surfer Mo. Okay, this is actually good, so I can do this. This. And this. Perfect. <clears throat> Most likely I can loop this thing now. <clears throat> Dumb. That was ah shit. Yeah, you saw my little groove. Oops. Let's go ahead and reinforce that. Not good. And you know what? Let's just have. do this. Maybe I should have done that first. Anyway. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> Ooh, there went that thing. <laughs> I'm still glad I got her last year. Okay. Uh, got a scarab, not bad. Yeah, I should be heading home. There we go. That ought to do it. He's really strong. Yes, he is. After all, Madre Carter's famous for taking an entire French army with only three allies. And that's no big deal. Every hero's got some kind of story like that. Hmm? Those people coming this way are friends of you. Those people coming this way are friends of yours? Yep, that's Holmes and Da Vinci. Sherlock Holmes, Leonardo Da Vinci, and Bartholomew Roberts, huh? Must be nice having being so famous. Don't put yourself down, Monte Cardo. The important thing is that you're all unhurt. And if you could now count another sermon among our ranks as well, Things are certainly looking up. Hmm. He's got nice long bangs, but you still can but you can still see both of his eyes. Damn. So close. Is that really all you care about? <laughs> what can I say? Your parents have never have never been shy about our desires. So he likes women with long bangs that cover one eye. Well I can think of quite a few. One in particular would be Rita. Amazing, but I hear he's only known these people a little longer than I have. But he's already one of the gang. He must have a, a have A rank people skills. He doesn't even try to hide the freaky sh hide the, hide the freaky shit. He's in he's into still like they still like him anyway. Man, I'm so jealous. If only I was a little bit smoother with people. <clears throat> So, what are you going to do now? Keep heading for the temple? That's the plan. In that case, I guess I can go with you. Besides, I'm a rogue servant, so I'll feel better with having a master around, too. Thanks, Mondricardo. No worries. I need someone to do the same, right? Alright then, looks like I'll be coming along. Do you know anything about the temple yourself, Mondricardo? Oh, yeah. Hell, I've been there. I've even used a few, used my felt myself a few times. A picture with a thousand words, right? So let's just say, get you the temple, and save that guy's life. Are you quite sure? Are you quite sure I can do that? Are these nano machines really safe? For that matter, how do they work? I'm much rather you tell us now than later. Don't ask me. I don't got any idea. Look, you just have to see it for yourself, okay? All right, fine. 
Besides, we can't get the, na the Nautilus back in working order. I'll have to, if we can't get the Nautilus back in working order, I'll have to continue this journey on foot. And everyone knows no nobles such as myself only travel on foot by foot when the circumstances have no other, when leave them no other choice. Like that super strict radio officer me, I had to follow for a while. I assure you, I have no idea whatsoever you're talking about. Are we going? Yep, we're going back to this. We got clear the area and got the sink quartz. And two mysterious divine lights. Uh, ooh! That just opened up. Alright, what do we got? Okay. So that'll be in the next video. That should be Thursday. And that'll be all for now. Until next time, this is Love Jazz saying thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves. Let's go back to the terminal. And let's just go ahead and end the video. Later, guys. Uh.